So with the latest update of SUSE Manager version 4.2.5, it's now possible to mirror SLES for SAP repositories from SUSE's cloud update infrastructure. This demonstration walks through this process. So we start at the login screen of our newly deployed SUSE Manager instance. It's been deployed from a SUSE Manager image and configured as per the SUSE documentation. If we log into the console and go to the admin section, you can see that there's a new setting called Pay As You Go. Now we'll take a look at that in a second, but first we need to connect SUSE Manager to the SUSE Customer Center. For this, we need to use our organization credentials. Now there's a section at the end of this video which shows how to retrieve those from the Customer Center. The green tick shows that the credentials are valid. And if we take a look at the available products, this shows us all the product channels that it is now possible to mirror. Now, because there's a SUSE Manager subscription in this account, there will be several channels that are provided by default. But if we search for SLES for SAP channels, you can see that there are none. Let's go and nominate one of our SLES for SAP instances. So if we click add pay as you go, and we enter a description, enter the IP address or the host name, we then need to provide some SSH access to the instance. In our case, we'll use the EC2 user and then specify the private key of the instance. Once added, if we wait a short moment to refresh the page, you can see the credentials have now been successfully updated. This means that SUSE Manager should now have some additional repositories to mirror. So let's hop back into products and take a look. This time, if we search for SAP channels, we can see that there are several available that weren't there before. Now, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to mirror the SLES for SAP 15 SP3 channels. So this includes all the update channels as well as live patching entitlement and so on. So we just need to click on add products to start the process. So if you come back a few minutes later, we can see that the SLES for SAP 15 channels have been successfully mirrored to the SUSE Manager server. If we take a further look at the software section, this shows a list of all channels that are available on the SUSE Manager instance. And these repositories can now be presented to manage clients. I hope this demonstration showed just how easy that was to set up. So taking a look behind the scenes, I just wanted to show the SUSE Customer Center and the account used to connect as part of that demo. As you can see, it only has one SUSE Manager subscription and no other subscriptions available. With regards to users, as mentioned, SUSE Manager requires organization credentials in which to connect, and these can be found on the tab over on the right. So you can unhide these and note them down for use during the configuration process. So reviewing the architecture of how this works, it's worth noting that the SUSE Manager instance should reside in the same region as the update servers themselves. Now this shouldn't be an issue as SUSE hosts update servers in nearly every public region. But what we do require is HTTPS connectivity between the SUSE Manager instance and the SCC, as well as port 22 or SSH access to the nominated pay-as-you-go instance as shown earlier in the demo. So I hope you found this demonstration useful. If you need any more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch with SUSE.